Good evening from Blackpool, where it's Illumination Switch on Night 2022. I can't believe how fast this year has gone. Honestly, the year has flown by, but you know what? I am really looking forward to the Illuminations coming on once again here in Blackpool. And yes, it's Switch on Night. They're going to be going on tonight at about 9.15. And then I'm going to be taking you for a tour of exactly what the display has to offer this year. It's going to be running for four months every night through until the 2nd of January 2023 which is brilliant because of course once again they've extended the illumination season which is brilliant for Blackpool and of course people coming down here and seeing this epic show it stretches over six miles and features millions of bulbs it really is an impressive show and the best thing is it's completely free to come and see as well now in terms of the switch on tonight I'm going to be watching it from the tower headland just out the front of course of the iconic Blackpool tower itself that you can see there just behind me and uh, yeah it all looks very dark and gloomy at the moment but in about half an hour's time the lights will come on and there's even going to be some fireworks from the top of the tower as well now you might be able to just hear it in the background there's actually the switch on concert that's going on right now in the tower ballroom what they've actually done is put a screen on the tower headland uh, and kind of showing you a live image of what's going on inside and then of course we'll have the big countdown and the lights will come on at about 9 15 so come and join me as we capture the build-up atmosphere and then i'll take you for a tour through blackpool illuminations 2020 we have had so many incredible performances tonight and the good times do not stop there because we are limbering up for the all important Blackpool Illumination switch on moment which is literally seconds away. So to do the honours this evening I am joined by Lawrence Luer and Burwitt. Make some noise. Thank you Blackpool. You are absolutely beautiful tonight. So this is an amazing year for the Illuminations. And for the first time ever, we managed to do something on the Golden Mile, which I'm very proud of. It's a totally new concept using Neo Neon, and it's all about bringing back some of the glamour and some of the elegance and some of the sophistication. Oh, look at you all. all right, we're going to do it in style with a countdown, so please join me as we count from 10, 9, Well, how awesome did the pyro look there at the top of Blackpool Tower? It was pretty incredible seeing that. And yeah, full song, the atmosphere was pumping. And of course, all the lasers, the countdown up the tower, it was brilliant. And here we go, Blackpool Illuminations are officially switched on for another year. Anyway, as soon as they came on, I jumped on a tram down here to Bispam, which is the start of the Illuminations. And yeah, I say this every year, but definitely recommend coming down here to Bispam and uh, coming and seeing the lights down here, because the tableaus, as they're officially known, are absolutely awesome. And yeah, I'm going to start off here, walk through the tableau section, then jump back on a tram, head down to the tower, and then walk all the way down to Stargate, because I've parked past Pleasure Beach, so we can show you all of the Illuminations down there. Starting off with some absolute classics down here. They come back every year and they've been here for as long as I can remember. The little teddy bears that we've got just here as well. Yeah, you've got a couple of seesaw just over there. You've got the swings and also the merry-go-round here as well. Unfortunately, no Charlotte tonight, else she would definitely have sat there for a photo with the teddy bears. But yeah, we'll be back at some point together to come and see the illuminations during the four month run. And there we go, you've got the seesaw bears just there as well. Now this is the start of the lights, or of course the end, depending on which way you go. And yeah, throughout the illuminations, you've also got the special illuminated trams. And yeah, here's one of my favorites coming along just here now. Look at this, in all of its glory. The camera doesn't do it justice. The train just there, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And yeah, you've got the special trams, the run up and down, 
during the illuminations. And of course, they're great to go on. However, the best is to look at, in my opinion. And yeah, when you're coming down here to Bispam, you want to be on this side because you've got the walkway that runs all the way down to see the illuminations. And yeah, you've got these nice big crowns just up here. These are quite fitting, of course, with it being the Queen's Platinum Jubilee earlier this year. And yeah, this tableau section, you can have a good kind of 20 minutes to half an hour walk down here, seeing them all. Sooty Sweep and Sue just here as well. And yeah, these are massive. I mean, you look at the people walking past here. These are huge. You're talking, you know, maybe five, six meters tall. And yeah, obviously it was at Sooty Land down at Creeley and filmed the vlog here on the channel not that long ago. So make sure you check it out if you haven't already seen it here on Theme Park Worldwide. Yeah, there's Sooty, proper childhood memories down here with Sooty. And that was the same when I went to Creeley the other week, you know, and seeing Sooty and watching the show down there, which was awesome. It doesn't seem that busy down here in Bispam tonight. I'm quite surprised. And I've got to say, it's the warmest illumination switch on night I think I've ever seen this is. I've still got my shorts on tonight and I'm not that cold. But here we go, this is a brilliant tableau. Obviously you've got the three buses there, Tower, Blackpool Zoo and Pleasure Beach. And here we go, you've got the motorbike and then he comes all the way over the cross. I mean, you just wouldn't do it like this nowadays. So it's so nice how they've kept these classic tableaus. There we go, getting enough momentum. Is he gonna make it all the way over the top? Oh, not this time. Maybe this one? No. <laughs> yeah, build up that momentum. Here we go. And then he's gonna go all the way over. Hey, oh, that was fast, that was. There you go. And back again as well, just there. Yeah, fantastic that is. And obviously you've got all the different motorbikes that are actually all the way across there, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's Postman Pat and Jess the Cat just there as well. Got the Spaceman just here. And yeah, it's good how they've got these because these actually used to hang over the street going back many years now. There we go. Got the Daleks just here, the nice Doctor Who section with the TARDIS just over there as well. Yeah, these are really cool. So you can hear there, they have got audio and every so often they do the classic exterminate, exterminate. <laughs> Fantastic these are. A couple more Daleks just here as well. And yeah, what's really cool with these is how they move on the top just there as well. Look at that. Yeah, these are absolutely awesome. And there's some big Doctor Who fans out there. So yeah, definitely worth coming down here to come and see this. Yeah. And like I say, it's completely free. Obviously, you know, it's definitely worth making a donation because putting on a show like this costs a fortune, especially with the electricity prices now. And uh, yeah, it's really good that they've still extended the illumination season for this year, especially with the ongoing energy crisis, you know. So come down here, give them some support. Yeah, it really is a very impressive display. And that's why I put it on Theme Park Worldwide every year. Because this is theming. Like, look at all this. The size of it, pretty incredible. It really is. And yeah, open sesame tableau just here. Lots to look at. And there's the scale of these is absolutely amazing. If you haven't already, though, make sure you check out the behind the scenes tour we did over at Lightworks last year here on the channel. I'll actually put a link to that in the video description. And yeah, we went behind the scenes basically at the factory where they do all the maintenance and look after the illuminations. Uh, it was really fascinating. And so uh, yeah, make sure you check it out here on the channel. It was an absolutely brilliant tour. They gave us a nice exclusive, which was awesome. Here's looking at another one of the illuminated trams coming down just here. Not the nice boat. How beautiful is that? Perfect timing seeing these as well down here tonight. But yeah, sponsored by Coral Island, this one. And I was told when we did that tour that this boat was being completely rebuilt. So I'm not too sure if it's actually been done or not, but it does look very fresh out the front. So I'm probably gonna hazard a guess and say, yes, it has, because they said it's one of the oldest tableaus. Uh, it needed a lot of TLC, a lot of work. And yeah, it does look very fresh. So I reckon that has actually been redone, which is very cool. Sometimes you need to stand a little bit further back just to appreciate the scale of these tableaus. Look at this. And yeah, obviously sponsored by Coral Island as well. And yeah, that's how the Illuminations, of course, gets its funding through sponsorships and also the donations as well. But yeah, that looks amazing. Really nice and fresh and good to see they've done the work to that. I love looking at all of the details on some of these as well. And that's why I definitely recommend walking through this section here in Bispam. 
instead of driving down this end because it is so much better. And if you do want to drive through the illuminations, I would definitely recommend parking up down this end and actually walking through these just to take it all in. However, it's much easier parking up for the day down in town and then of course getting the tram down to this end as well. The trams do get busy on switch on night though, bear that in mind. Here we go, this is one of Charlotte's favourites. Unfortunately, she's not here with me tonight to enjoy it, but uh, here we go. We've got this fella, it looks like he's just staying on tonight. Oh, maybe he's not doing his thing anymore. Oh, there he is, there we go. So he deflates, goes back into the box just down there. And then in just a few seconds time, he will just pop up out of the box just there or out of the tomb, whatever it's supposed to be. Here we go, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, it's coming. Here we go. Hey, just for you, Charlotte. <laughs> he's not going all the way up. I think he needs a bit of TLC, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, this is cool. Maybe this one will get some work soon. I mean, some of the paint work could do with touching up on there. But you've got to think, it is a massive job. Of course, the spooky season is just around the corner now. You've got this awesome Halloween scene just here. Always looks very impressive. And yeah, look at the theme of this. Absolutely awesome. I mean, it wouldn't look out of place in somewhere like Alton Towers or Blackpool Pleasure Beach, this. Because look at that, the theming's absolutely fantastic. And I feel like they've actually redone some of the lighting on here as well. And yeah, you stand back and look at these and they're absolutely incredible, they really are. Yeah, with this, you've got the audio Michael Jackson thriller. And yeah, they're actually moving their mouths to the song, which is really cool, just on there. And you've got the projection in the top the bat up there, the ghost that's up on the roof. And yeah, this has had a lot of TLC done. This looks amazing. There's all the little pumpkins lit up down there and these very spooky trees just here as well. But yeah, that's probably my favorite one now down here. It looks awesome. So next up here is the section where you can actually pay to be a part of the Blackpool Illuminations, like all these people have here. Last year, we was actually up here in lights as well, which was really cool, because obviously we did that video and worked with Blackpool Council and had that behind the scenes tour, which really was awesome. But yeah, you can actually pay and have your head up here in lights, which is really cool. Wow, look how awesome and dazzling these lights are just here. Yeah, I really do like these ones. And these are actually just above the donation point just there on the road as well. But yeah, look at that. Strobing away above the road just here, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, at this point, you have to come a little bit further off the pathway down there. Still footpath, of course, all the way down. We are here on the promenade. Um, but yeah, you can see more of the tableaus just here on the right-hand side now. So I'm gonna continue on walking down this way. But yeah, you can see why I always say, come down and see this. We normally start down here, but obviously with the being the fireworks up there on the tower, we thought, oh, we'll make sure we uh, get those in tonight and show you those. Now these patterns are awesome just here, which is really cool. Give you a bit of a zoom in just on those there. Yeah, how awesome are those? And yeah, you think about all the thousands of lights that are individually on those just there as well to make the patterns really cool and very dazzling as well. I've always found the Blackpool illuminations fascinating, I really have. Look at that. Oh, we've got the lovely colorful butterfly just there. Off to the left, these gorgeous peacocks. And then just to the left of there, we've got the fish there as well, which is a really cool effect. I do like the fish. There you go, it goes from white to all the different colors. And that's the thing now with the LED bulbs that you can get, or lamps as they're officially known. Yeah, they're amazing to look at, look at that. Another childhood classic here now, one that's very close to my heart and also very close to Blackpool's heart. Alice in Wonderland just there. Oh, and the tram just come past and blocked up you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's the thing, now you're on this side, you get the trams coming past. There you go, look at that, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, all the details on there, incredible. Obviously it's got some movement there as well. Another one that always looks fantastic, Blankpool Rocks just there. All the sweets and rocks and lollipops. Yeah, look at that, always looks brilliant. Traffic's really not that busy tonight, actually, coming through the illuminations. Probably because it is a little bit later with the switch on being 9.15. And yeah, the lights are on through until 1 a.m., which is good tonight. But yeah, here's a look at some of the lights. Of course, celebrating England's European Championship. Just up there as well. And yeah, we've got some more lovely lights just here on the right-hand side as well, just there. We've got Noddy. 
just up there, another classic. Do you love a bit of Noddy? Just over there, I used to love Noddy when I was a kid. And yeah, Swan Lake always looks beautiful here as well. Yeah, look at that, I'll give you a bit of a zoom in on Swan Lake. Yeah, all the thousands of bulbs and individual pieces that go into that. Yeah, it's pretty amazing to see. So colorful as well. Oh, I've got the cute little teddy bears just up here as well. And yeah, clown juggling just down there at the bottom too on this one. They've got loads of these just down here now. And yeah, all of them really bright, which is good to see. Yeah, the illuminations are looking on point for 2022. Just coming across now to the final few tableaus down here in Bispome, and it's great to be green just here. Yeah, this is really colorful, what's going on just on there as well. And that's the thing, all these different tableaus tell different stories really, which is cool. But yeah, this one looks awesome. Really colorful there. One of the best ones in my opinion. And yeah, still out of a lot of these, one of the newer tableaus that there is down here. I'd love to see more of this style built in the future. Cause yeah, this really is fantastic. And of course, 100% recyclable, as it says just on there as well. But yeah, that's really impressive. And these final few tableaus just down here, representing the different seasons that you can see here as well, which are really nice. And not forgetting Basil Brush, actually, he's down here, just on the left. Boom, boom. <laughs> There's Basil doing a bit of karate just there as well. And the main man himself, just there in the middle too. I love it down here in Bispam and it's a huge part of the Illuminations experience. So if you are coming to see them during this run, make sure you come down here and see them because they're absolutely fantastic. And like I say, you get a great view in the car. However, it's definitely best coming out, having a stroll down here in my opinion. It only takes about 20 to 30 minutes, uh, but it's great. And you can get some awesome photos with them as well. And yeah, the little uh, photo opportunities, such as the teddy bears back down there at the start as well. It's great to see Blackpool all lit up again for the illumination season. And yeah, this is where you start to see some more of the lights hanging over the road just here now. Yeah, I've been walking about five minutes down from where I was just at the end of Bispern, the end of the illuminations. And yeah, what I'm going to do now is make my way down towards the tower. However, I'm not going to walk all the way because obviously it's quite a trek. It's actually about an hour's walk from the illumination start in Bispern down to the tower. However, what I will do give you a bit of a zoom in down here to the tower in the distance and yeah you can see some of the lights all hanging over the road just there as well look at that that is a pretty incredible view isn't it yeah you've got like all the different portraits hanging above the road just there with the tower in the distance and all the festoon lights there in the middle as well so what i'm going to do is jump on a tram just here take about 10 minutes or so maybe a little bit less down towards the tower and then I'm going to walk all the way through the rest of the illuminations from there and show you the brand new lights that they've got for this year that are stretching along the Golden Mile. And I'm really looking forward to seeing. So I'm just on the tram here now. And yeah, if you look out just here into the middle of the roundabouts, you'll see the Spitfire that they've had now for a few years. Just there in the middle, all lit up, which is pretty cool. Well, after a short tram ride just there, I've now arrived down here at North Pier. And yeah, from this point, I'm gonna be walking through the remainder of the illuminations. And yeah, I've gotta say, these new lights for this year are absolutely huge and they are very colorful. Look at these hanging over the roadway just here. And yeah, every so often, they actually strobe just there as well, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm really impressed with these. And I tell you what, they've probably gotta be some of the largest illuminations they've ever had over the roadway because look at these they're amazing there's blackpool tower lit up in baby blue or turquoise whatever you want to call it just behind there and yeah look at this now they come in lots of different shapes as well which is cool with these and yeah i'll give you some good zoom in shots when we get further down here brought my camera with the big zoom tonight because i knew we were going to be seeing lots of great illuminations and lots of new ones too but yeah i've got to say these are some of my favorite additions ever 
two of the illuminations in Blackpool. They are just so colourful, really vibrant. And yeah, you always get a good idea when you zoom in a bit. I was saying there was not much traffic earlier. Look at it down here, it is heaving. Like I say, so many people don't go down to Bispone, but it's well worth it. Yeah, I'm going to be giving you lots of zooming shots, but yeah, look at this just here. It's just one mass of LED lights just there, all the strips. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Well, I'll tell you what, it's a bit quieter now down here on the Tower Headland. It was heaving down here earlier when the lights come on. And yeah, it was a great atmosphere, it really was. It reminded me of the days when they used to do the concert just outside, actually. But yeah, look at these huge bubble domes that they've got just here. Oh, they're amazing, they're like baubles with LED lights. And yeah, this is also why you want to walk through the illuminations and come and experience them, because look at these. They've got to be about, what, five, six metres tall, maybe more than that. These are huge. Yeah, you've also got the projections running on the front there of the tower, which look awesome. And yeah, it's like a theme show, and the tower lights are all in sync to that show as well, which is pretty awesome. I loved seeing the pyro coming off the top earlier on, though. That was pretty epic. Well, the projection mapping looks pretty awesome there on the front of the Blackpool Tower building. Yeah, really nice to see. And of course, there she is, lit up in all of her glory. The iconic, world-famous Blackpool Tower just there. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. And yeah, the lights on there were redone a couple of years back and look amazing. You can see them from miles away. When you're driving down the M55, you know you're arriving in Blackpool. Come on, we've all played that game before of spot the tower, but you can't miss it when it's lit up like that at night. And yeah, the projections are amazing. Always love the atmosphere here in Blackpool for Illuminations nights. 5 to 11 at night, and look at this, it's heaving full of people. Everybody having a great time. But yeah, talking of them new illuminations, look at these. Very jazzy. So yeah, you had the kind of curves of the ones down there. Yeah, but zooming on these ones, look at the size of them. And also the shape. Very interesting design. Quite futuristic, aren't they? Look at that. I really like the shape of these, and they all look nice collectively together. And there's lots of different shows taking place there on the tower. With all sorts of different projections, which is awesome to see. And yeah, all the different colour schemes that you get there on Blackpool Tower. Look at that. Beautiful. The final projection of the evening, that one. Yeah, there's a look at the I Love Blackpool sign that there is just down here as well. Of course, a fantastic photo opportunity here as well. This is really cool down here as well. You've also got this stick of rock. That's a great photo of. Fancy ice cream here in Blackpool. Another <laughs> great boat opportunity just here as well, which is awesome. What a great atmosphere down here tonight. I tell you what, these new lights for this year over the roadway really complement the tower and the lighting design on there. Just outside Coral Island there now. And yeah, gonna give you a good zoom in. Looking at all of these new lights with the patterns just here. Very impressive. And I like how these have took center stage as well right down here on the Golden Mile. Look at those. And yeah, we've seen a couple of different shapes so far. As we can see, the shape changes just down here as well. Some squiggles go into them just there. But yeah, all together, these look very impressive. It really is the Las Vegas of the UK, isn't it? Coral Island just over there, Golden Mile Amusements with all their lights on. And yeah, great atmosphere down here. I do love it in Blackpool. I've always loved it since I was a kid, and I'll keep on loving it. This time of the year in Blackpool is very special, it really is. But yeah, these new lights are fantastic. Got to be my favorite addition for many, many years. Because let's be honest, you know, about five or six years ago, there wasn't much investment in the lights at all. However, now the illuminations are really looking on top form. And yeah, I'm hoping we see more investments like this because they look amazing taking the illuminations really forward into the future. And look at these, very impressive. And the huge cover of the roadway, so much to look at and no gaps, which is amazing. And it looks just as impressive the other way there as well with these other shapes. And Blackpool Tower doing its thing just there as well. Really impressive. 
Well, I tell you what, I'm glad that I decided to walk through now tonight. I didn't think traffic was that bad earlier down in Bispam. Uh, but yeah, now down here, it is chock-a-block, even though we're past 11 o'clock at night. So yeah, I definitely recommend walking through, using the tram. There's plenty of car parks here in Blackpool. You can leave your vehicle parked up, have a stroll through. It's not the same if you're in the car and to concentrate driving. And yeah, it's just nice strolling through, getting your steps in and uh, enjoying everything that the Golden Mile has to offer. Blackpool during the Illuminations period is also going to be the place where you can get the latest operating rides in the UK. Because yeah, the rides are pumping over there on the pier. Quarter past 11 at night, yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else in the country where you're going to get rides at this time of night. Yeah, people are loving it over there. The big wheel's still going round. I think all the rides are, to be honest. The Matt Horn ride over there. And yeah, I'm actually going to be covering the piers in a vlog tomorrow and the day after here on Theme Park Worldwide. Probably going to start down here at Central Pier and then also head down to South Pier as well. Share on-ride POVs and yeah, there's some big changes actually coming to the piers for 2023. Some improvements on the way that I'm looking forward to, but I want to kind of document them before them changes. So yeah, there'll be the next couple of videos coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide. They're coming towards the end now of this section of new illuminations and I'm really impressed with them. I think Blackpool Council, all the team at Lightworks should be very proud. They've done a great job. And just like Lawrence the Whale and Bowen said, of course, who switched on the illuminations and I got that little clip in of him before they came on. He said he wanted to bring some more kind of dazzling displays here into Blackpool. I can't remember the exact word that he said now, um, but kind of, you know, some more old school vibes. And yeah, they've done a great job with that. And there's another fantastic view looking back towards the tower with these new illuminations just here as well. Spectacular. Right outside of Central Pier then now. And yeah, it seems like they've made some colour changes to some of the lights around here. These are really nice with the white and green. And these also sparkling on the side as well. Grunty and Pom Pom, you can see just there in the middle. And yeah, I believe this is sponsored by a holiday park. I think it might say it on the other side of one of these just over here. But yeah, like I say, the sponsorships are also how the illuminations are funded here in Blackpool. Partington's Holiday Parks, there we go. Says it just up on the top there, which is really cool. But yeah, I do like these. And the good thing is you see all the lights on the piers, the rides, the arcades, things like Webster's just over there lit up. It just comes alive, doesn't it? It's not just the illuminations that are impressive. It's just this awesome evening atmosphere walking along the Golden Mile. But yeah, your main illuminations are really down in Bispam and then all the way down here as well, down towards the Pleasure Beach. That's, this is the main mile, the main set of illuminations. Oh, lights are looking awesome there on the big wheel. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have a ride on there tomorrow. So stay tuned for the vlog. <laughs> these are quite nice. Yeah, these are some of the older illuminations. I think they used to be sponsored, but now they say only in Blackpool on there and they've changed the colours. And you've got the seagull just on there as well. Bert the seagull. <laughs> but yeah, you can actually be seen in the Blackpool advertising campaigns for this year. So yeah, he's up there in lights too, which is cool. I think this is the first time ever that I've walked through Blackpool Illuminations wearing shorts. And to be honest, I'm debating taking my hoodie off again. It's really quite warm tonight. Like it's 20 degrees, which is amazing. Like perfect for walking through the lights. Honestly, it's normally freezing cold or windy, raining. But it's a lovely calm night, perfect for it. Now, obviously earlier on, I did get the tram through part of the Illuminations. I showed you the Spitfire on the roundabout. That really is the highlight of that kind of mile stretch. There's not loads to look at there, like there is down at Bispam and also here. That's why I always kind of get the tram with that bit. Obviously, you could walk the full thing if you wanted to, but you don't really need to walk through that section um, because there's not loads to see. Obviously, you've got all the big impressive tableaus down there. You've got the main stretch kind of from North Pier down to Stargate, or at least the Pleasure Beach. Um, that section is always the bit that I think it's worth getting on the tram for. Um, you've got a couple of mermaids and things across um, above the street, but there's not loads to see. So yeah, you're definitely better doing that, in my opinion, if you're coming down here. Obviously, you could walk the full thing if you wanted to, but like I say, it's about six miles. So yeah, it's a long walk. These look really fancy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they've actually redone the color scheme for these. Because last year, they were all multicolored. You probably thought with them having the new multicolored ones further down, they go with something a bit different here. But yeah, these are a nice yellow color. And yeah, these look fantastic. Oh, and there we go, they're changing now. Oh, into blue. Yeah, before they were doing like the rainbow colors, but obviously now they must go and change every so often. Yeah, that's cool. It's amazing what you can do with LED though, isn't it now? Stuff what they never used to be able to do. 
It's kind of like a tradition for people coming to Blackpool and driving through the illuminations. Yeah, this is really nice. The seagulls up here again as well. And yeah, it looks very colourful again down here in the distance where we are heading to. Oh, so these are similar to the ones that we saw down in Bispam near the start of the lights. Yeah, these are sponsored by Affinity, which I believe is a shopping outlet, which isn't too far away from here in Blackpool. But yeah, I do like all these strobing lights and we're coming down to these nice colourful ones now that are awesome. And there's something pretty cool with the sponsorship on this one here as well that I'll show you all. So this section of the Illuminations is actually sponsored by Fox Brothers. And yeah, you can see the big ones lift hill just there. And also this digger that is actually working on the foundations and groundwork for Icon just there as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool if you want to see that if you're coming down here. Nice little nod to the construction of Icon. Now, once again, these are ones that look so much better collectively. Yeah, very colorful. And yeah, look at these all the way down here in this next section. They are pretty beautiful, aren't they? All the colors of the rainbow are just there. Yeah, they look awesome, especially some of the hotels and bars and different venues all lit up in the background there as well. The festoons running down the side. Yeah, it's a really nice colorful section here of Blackpool Illuminations. Sometimes it's nice to take a little step back and really appreciate the scale of this display. And yeah, when I use the awesome zoom on this camera here, down towards Blackpool Pleasure Beach, you realize just how big and impressive this show really is. Look at that. There's the big one. Half lit up down there at the bottom. And there's a view back down the Golden Mile, showing the big wheel on Central Pier and also the tower there as well, with one of its many different functions that it does. Looks so cool, doesn't it? Look at that. I remember back in the day when it was just a plain festoons on there. You might get a bit of chasing up and down if you're lucky. Yeah, look at everything it can do now with the technology. Pretty incredible, isn't it? Well, as we continue on down the promenade here in Blackpool, made my way now to the next section. And yeah, you got the classic Blackpool showgirls just here as well. And yeah, these are really impressive for some of the older illuminations. However, I do miss the days of them having lights in the middle just there as well. I think when you've just seen their massive, spectacular new lights down, of course, by the tower, yeah, it makes these ones now look a little bit plain in comparison. Still very impressive to see. But yeah, I just think the strings going across in the middle would have been really nice down here. And they've got all the wires in place, like they should have been there, unless they didn't get around to doing it, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, these are still really nice to see. Give you a bit of a zoom in actually, so you can see some more of the details on these. They're all different colors and different poses going on just here by the Blackpool showgirls just here as well. Of course, with it being a very showbiz town. But yeah, these are classics. They've had these for absolutely years. We actually had a photo with some of these when they were on the ground to put light works. And yeah, the size of these, absolutely amazing. Like about two and a half, three meters. Like they're huge. You wouldn't expect them to be that big. And these are probably the best ones of those, in my opinion. Yeah, they've got the fans just here and lots of animation going on just there, which is really cool. Yeah, the little sparkles down here at the bottom, which is really nice. Well, we're getting down towards South Pier then now. And yeah, there's still so much more to see from Blackpool Illuminations 2022. We've got some more of the sooty and sweet lights just here. And following on from that, um, you've got loads more to see, including the circus themed lights, the Nickelodeon characters, and lots more as well. These ones are quite simple, but effective. I do like these with the glitter balls just there as well. And yeah, here we go. We're now entering into the sooty section. I'm sure I say this every year, but I'll say it once again for any new viewers. Yeah, this section here used to have McDonald's themed lights, which was really cool. Probably not allowed to do it these days, which is a shame because it was quite iconic. They used to have all the McDonald's characters up here, Ronald and yeah, all the different ones outside of actual McDonald's, which was really cool. And yeah, all the M's used to say, I'm loving it across the middle just there. Yeah, some of the classics. But yeah, we've got the Sutty Show just here as well. They love Sutty here in Blackpool. There's been loads of Sutty on this channel over the past few weeks. Yeah, the sooty section always looks really nice here. And there he is, the main man himself. And leading down into the circus section next. You can see the big ones turn around section just there as well. But yeah, all these ones for the circus are really nice. So yeah, let's go and check out these. 
So you've got lots of different circus acts on display just here. You've got this clown doing a bit of juggling up there at the top. And yeah, again, what's really nice with these is how you've got the strings of festoons running through the middle just there as well. Just fills the gaps, doesn't it? The only part that's looked a little bit empty so far, in my opinion, is where I mentioned just a couple of minutes ago, kind of with the Blackpool showgirls just there. Yeah, he's could have done with a little bit more in the middle, in my opinion. Oh, well, we've got the circus ringmaster just up there. And yeah, just off here to the right hand side, you got someone there doing some nice aerial acrobats in the circus illuminations. Well, the laser show's back for this year, just outside of South Pier. However, yeah, it definitely needs some smoke. I can see a smoke machine down there at the bottom, but maybe it needs some more fluid putting in. Because, yeah, you can't really see the beams that strong. You can see them a little bit. But, yeah, this will look a lot better if you can get the smoke pumping out. But you've got to think, it is night number one. To be honest, everything's been lit up so far. Everything's been looking pretty good. But, yeah, this just needs a bit of work. So I'm sure they'll have that sorted out for night two. And, yeah, if you're coming down here, this is another big reason why it's nice to walk through the illuminations to see things like this, because you wouldn't get to appreciate them from in your car. It's really good to see a lot of the businesses here on the promenade in Blackpool have improved their own lights, which is great. Such as Pablo's over there. Obviously, Velvet Coast has always looked pretty good. The weather spoons down here. And then, of course, South Pier just here as well. And yeah, we're going to be heading on there tomorrow. So that vlog will be coming up in the next couple of days. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So what else I've noticed is a brand new lighting package over on the casino just there as well. I mean, that looks awesome. How nice is that now? Yeah, all colour changing lights on there and all the strips just along the top just there as well. But yeah, that looks brilliant, that does. Really nice. But yeah, we're going to continue walking down here towards Stargate. So I'm not going to get on the tram. I'm going to just walk down here, soak it all in because we've got the Nickelodeon lights coming up shortly just down here but yeah there's the velvet coaster all lit up as well traffic seems to be easing off now but it has just gone 11 30 and yeah here's a look at the city fiber lights just here as well obviously with the green wire i'd imagine representing fiber broadband well i'll tell you what that screen is bright over there at the entrance to pleasure beach and yeah we did film a vlog just a couple of weeks ago from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, so make sure you check it out. And we'll be back again next month after our Florida trip. Back here for some rides in the dark, of course. Yeah, because the nights are going to be drawing in soon. But yeah, not many lights on still tonight here at Pleasure Beach. Obviously, the big one does get lit up. So does Infusion, Icon, all sorts. They've left the lights on for flying machines there inside, which is cool. I still think it'd be great publicity just leaving the Pleasure Beach archways lit up with sunshine there as well. But yeah, I guess it is a lot later now. Earlier on when I started the walk, I could see that the big one was lit up. But yeah, I've got to think it is much later now. As you can see there in the middle here, you've got the bring on the light illuminations. These are quite small. This is the sort of thing we were seeing maybe, you know, seven to 10 years ago, where we didn't really have massive impressive things going on like we do now. So it's nice to see the illuminations um, getting more impressive than just these little displays in the middle, like it kind of went to for a period. And uh, yeah, of course, having the big tableaus and yeah, the huge ones that now cross the road, which are pretty awesome. Now, this is really impressive. This was redone for last year. The fountain showed us down here with the screens. It wasn't actually fully operational on the first night. But yeah, look at this now. We've got the audio pumping, we've got the screens. And yeah, this is very impressive. And this is right opposite Blackpool Pleasure Beach, just down here as well. Look at that with the screen at the back. That is really funky. Fantastic fountain display as well. It's another one where the camera doesn't do it justice, to be honest. That is beautiful to look at. Really cool. Music pumping out. And an awesome fountain show just down here. Massive upgrade on how that used to be. Really dazzling as well. Look at this, here we go. <laughs> hey, one, two, three, and go. Yeah, get them tunes pumping. Yeah, this is nice. This is like the same sort of stuff the views with them new lights that cross the road, I'd imagine. Yeah, this is really cool. Well worth coming to see. And like I say, from in the car, you're not going to get the full effect of this either. Even when it's not fully lit up, the big one still looks very impressive, doesn't it? Dominates the skyline down this end of Blackpool. And yeah, back to the strobing lights here. Looks a little bit plain along this section here. I think a bit more would be nice going across. However, you have got the awesome fountain display just there. 
And yeah, when we get around this corner, past these swirls, that's where we've got the Nickelodeon lights to see. But you wouldn't even think the big one was there on the left now. All you can just see is the red height beacon on top. We have a zoom in on these just here. And you get a really good idea on the different shapes and all the colors on those, which are really nice. Small but nice. So right outside of the Boulevard Hotel at Blackpool Pleasure Beach are the Nickelodeon Land illuminations just here. See how I'll zoom in for you? Just so you can see the logo and the silhouette behind it just there of the big one. You can hardly see it without the lights on. Dora the Explorer just over there. And yeah, lots of the other Nickelodeon characters all the way down here. SpongeBob just down here. Yeah, these always look nice. It looks a lot brighter than I remember down here in the distance. So we're kind of on the final stretch now down towards Stargate. I've done a lot of walking tonight. Like I say, you don't want to walk through the whole thing unless you know you really want to where it feels shattered by the end of it. Because yeah, it's a long walk. Even what I've done tonight is quite a lot, especially if you've got push chairs or little ones. Um, yeah, it is quite a trek, it really is. But yeah, there's the beautiful Boulevard Hotel at Pleasure Beach just on the left really nice we did a vlog there actually so make sure you check it out from a couple of years ago and yeah the lovely nickelodeon illuminations just here so i'm going to carry on walking down luckily i thought about this this morning when i came to blackpool and parked down here right at the end in stargate so yeah i've not got to walk all the way back advanced planning <laughs> well as we approach midnight the problem's got much quieter now an hour left until the illuminations go off for tonight and they'll shine every night for four months and shine brightly here in Blackpool. Yeah, these look great all over the road just here. Really vibrant and colourful all the way down here on the prom. Oh, that's an amazing view, isn't it? All the colours just there, all the details, the stars, all of the strobes in the middle. Fantastic. And yeah, you can just see the remainder of the display just down there in the distance. And yeah, that's where I'm gonna be walking to. Past the mermaids just there and down towards them huge lights that just go over the road down there as well. But yeah, this is the other donation points here. Of course, the other one's about what? Five and a half miles away down at the other end in Bispam where we started earlier on. Well, as we approach the end of tonight's tour, here's a look at the classic mermaids just down here. Some more that they've had for many years, but still going strong here in Blackpool. And yeah, what's nice about these is how you've got the shells just in the middle there as well, which is fantastic, it really is. Yeah, just a couple of minutes to go now, so I'm back down at the car. And of course, the end of the display as well. But yeah, these look awesome from a distance here as well. So colorful. Well, here we go. Welcome to Stargate and the end of Blackpool Illuminations. And yeah, the end with these lovely Northern lights just here, sponsored, of course, by Northern Rail. But yeah, again, these are ones that look even better collectively. And that is the beauty of going through in your car. You get to see them collectively, which always looks awesome. <laughs> or via motorbike, whatever you fancy. Oh, there you go. Nice and vibrant. And yeah, the lights come to an end with one final archway which is just around that corner. And there we have it. They are the Blackpool Illuminations 2022. Like I say, they will shine brightly every single night through until the 2nd of January, 2023. Four months of bringing tourism here to Blackpool. And yeah, it really is a wonderful time to come and visit, do the Pleasure Beach, the other wonderful attractions, and yeah, stay and see the Illuminations on an evening. And I tell you what, tonight has been fantastic. For night one of the display as well, everything's been working. Uh, only a couple of small bits like that smoke machine, um, that really needs to be pumping out. But other than that, everything's been really on top form tonight. You've got to think, when they're looking after literally millions of bulbs like this across six miles, to have everything up and running for the first night like this is very impressive. I think the nice weather's obviously helped with that as well. It's not really very windy. Um, yeah, still got my shorts on tonight. It's been a great evening for it. 
Highlight for me is definitely them new illuminations on the Golden Mile, um, just outside Coral Island and the tower. I think they look absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of those. Uh, I really like how colorful they are and the scale of them as well. They are huge to look at. And then along with that, the actual switch on itself was great. Seeing the pyro coming out of the top of the tower was certainly absolutely brilliant. And I really enjoyed that. Well, my top tips are coming down here. Oh, definitely head down to Bispam. Check out those because they are some of the best illuminations in my opinion. And of course, walk through them and to really soak it all in and see it. I know that it's not capable for everyone to do that. However, if you can do, definitely walk through uh, and come and experience it. I know if you've got uh, young children and push chairs, that sort of thing, it might not be ideal and you just want to pick certain parts to walk through. And if you're doing that, I definitely say Bispam and of course the section out the front of the tower. Uh, but still, it's nice down here at Stargate as well and seeing all of these lights because there really is so much to see and the theming, the animatronics down there in Bispam are absolutely awesome too. But uh, there we go. Thanks for joining me here on Theme Park Worldwide. There's going to be a couple more Blackpool vlogs on the way actually over the next two days. I'm going to be covering both Central Pier and also South Pier as well. So stay tuned for those. But uh, there we go. If you're coming to Blackpool during illumination season, have an absolutely fantastic time. And that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you all tomorrow.